Welcome again to Star Rapid, the company that does serious engineering for serious engineers. Serious engineering. Today we're going to talk about some basic plastic injection molding defects and what to do about them. Plastic injection molding is the process where you inject a near molten plastic into a metal mold under high pressure. Once the mold is fully filled and the plastic has frozen off, the mold opens up and the part can be pushed or ejected out. The first common defect is called a weld line or weld mark. So what is that? A weld line is where the plastic flowing through the cavity of the mold gets split into two or more flow fronts. Then, later, during the filling process, those two fronts meet up again in the mold. These flow fronts are typically cooler than the material behind them, and when two of these fronts meet, they usually do not completely meld or weld together. This can leave what looks like a line on the surface, and sometimes it can be identified incorrectly as a scratch. Sometimes it even looks a bit like a, a sort of a tick shape, oftentimes looking like a little tail next to a molded hole or aperture. So what can we do to avoid this effect? The easiest way of getting rid of weld marks is to avoid having any holes or apertures in the design in the first place. Now obviously that's not very practical most of the time. That said, I have seen customers remove certain holes and have them drilled in after molding because the weld line was either an unacceptable mechanical weakness in the molding or it was just too unsightly. But let's say you cannot change the design and it's down to the molder to improve the situation. Well, first you can play with the melt temperature. Increasing the melt temperature can help to ensure that the melt front welds fully. The problem with this approach is that the cycle time may increase as the part may need longer to freeze. To help with that problem, one can add more cooling circuits. Another way is to heat and cool the mold using a specialized heating cooling cycle. This is achieved by having many small capillary cooling channels just under the surface of the mold, oftentimes done by making the core and cavity by metal 3D printing. Other approaches might be, one, to reposition the gate and runners to inject the material into a different location on the cavity. Two, we can texture the surface of the mold, which helps to disguise the effect. Or three, we can simply paint the parts and cover the effect. The second most common defect is called a witness mark. So what is a witness mark? It's a defect left on the part at the material injection location. These can look like a plastic tree stump, where a large sprue has been snipped off which is very typical with prototype and low volume molded parts. It might look like a fine wisp of hair if a hot tip was used. Sometimes if a hot tip with valve gate is used, the witness mark might just look like another ejector pin site. Some of the witness marks look like dimples, burrs, raised edges, and a number of other surface imperfections. It is very important that as an injection molding company that we work closely with the customer to identify these possible imperfections at the design for manufacturing stage. And if the defect is going to be unavoidable, at least we can agree upon where the defect will be cited. A few things that we can do to avoid these effects are, one, disguise the location of the witness mark within some other feature. Two, use submarine gates to relocate the injection point, maybe on the inside of a sidewall. Three, use a fan gate to distribute the resin over a wider area with less pressure. Four, use multiple smaller runners to distribute resin and pressure. And five, we can place the witness mark in an area that can be accessed later for post-machining. So that's it for today's video and I hope it helped you in your product development journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video and I'll see you next week with two more defects. Don't forget, we're the guys who do serious engineering for serious engineers. Serious engineering for serious engineers. Side effects include, your plastic injection molded parts may have less weld and witness marks, your project may be delivered to a significantly higher standard, and your colleagues may be so impressed with your supplier's performance that their heads explode in comical fashion just like in the movie Kingsman.